Can uh, I just say something? Sure. Okay. Life is so wild. Uh -huh. When I was in seventh grade, my friends and I had a shrine of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, when, when I say shrine, also, it was a photograph. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, so it wasn't a giant, yeah. And a signature. Really? An autograph. Yeah. That's what they call it. An autograph that a boy who probably had a crush on my friend Karen bought for her f from eBay. Oh, wow. And we just adored you, and we would try to imitate your sketches on our Razor scooters with braces. Oh my god. Which is actually like kind of your aesthetic, no? Yeah, yeah, that's of course my aesthetic. Right? Well, I just yeah. mean like how would you recreate I just mean, my like, sketches just I, I mean nothing that's very worth telling yeah, you. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of my sketches. Yeah. Uh, I just mean like I mean like, you know. No. L. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I I want to say I follow you on Twitter mm. uh, and I think that you're very funny on there because you you have some things that are a little uh, I would say just uh, odd. Okay, let me just, okay. Uh, let me say something about my Twitter. Uh, this is probably revealing, but I am like, nobody's on Twitter. I can write whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, millions there's, of people are on Twitter. I think there's 250 million people yeah. on, on Twitter. <laughs> let me just read a couple of tweets and just, if you could explain a little bit more, I'd just love to understand what this means. This first tweet says, found a lizard in my basket of socks and left it there. I mean, why does that need explanation? <laughs> All right, perfect. So, you, so that makes sense, and you said, I got to tweet this out. Sure, sure, sure. This one says, uh, Silence of the Lambs is my comfort movie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what? it? You, yes. It's a great movie. Sure. <laughs> it's not comforting. Okay, okay, well, let me be clear. It's not like it makes me feel comforted because it's like such loving uh, material, but because I just think it's such a good movie that every time I watch it, I'm like, ah, this is so good. <laughs> this one just says, where can I get the backpack I deserve? <laughs> I think that should be a t-shirt, by the way. I think that is fantastic. Where can I get the backpack that I deserve? I mean... Is it a metaphor? I just think that we all deserve the right backpack for our fashion and needs. You never found a good back. I, I, I'm not going to surprise you with one, but Jansport makes good ones. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, um, uh, let's talk about Zoe's ex extraordinary playlist. Uh, explain to everyone what this is, because the idea is pretty cool, and uh, I don't know, we like it. Okay, I play Zoe in Zoe's extraordinary playlist, and it is about a young woman who is a coder in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and she lives her life like mathematically problem solving, not fun yep. or musical. Right. And she's suffering these headaches because, well, we don't know why she's suffering these headaches. She's suffering these headaches. She has a father who is suffering from PSP, which is this rare neurological condition. And she's worried that she has the same thing that her father has. So she goes and gets an MRI. When she's in the MRI, San Francisco suffers an earthquake. Yeah. And when she comes out of the MRI post-earthquake, she can suddenly hear people's thoughts. But she hears them through big song and dance numbers. It's... I love this idea. This is the, so you hear someone's thoughts and, and, and you see it as a musical, like when you go like, okay, and so they're dancing and singing around. Yes. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Jane Levy in Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Take a look. That is fun. Thank you. The premiere is currently streaming right now. Uh, Jane Levy, everybody. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist airs Sundays at 9 p.m. on NBC.